Good morning from Granny Park in Pollock Shields and here we are on a really beautiful, clear, cool but um, beautiful morning. You see the sun is breaking through and warming our world and here we are at Granny Park with a sign telling me no, it's a no play area. <laughs> I love these signs. <laughs> they crack me up. Do not play. Get your cage. <laughs> Of course, conversely, what happens is this park is like because there are three wee parks on this road, and then there's the square park where I dance in the cage where they're doing construction right now. And, um, you know, in this one, because it's not the other two were designed quite oddly because they're they're wee green spaces and we call them Tur Turtle Park and Stepping Stones Park, but they have great big paths through them, so basically, it's like kind of like a shortcut it's not really a shortcut maybe it like shaves off like one tenth of a second from getting you know across the corner but nobody actually ever stays there and it's funny because we were um, I was involved in the regeneration group to look at these spaces because they wanted to build on them and um, and then the residents don't want to put any benches or anything like that because they don't want to encourage kids to be doing all kinds of nonsense it's really I just find it absolutely hysterical because you know yeah, it's just no wonder, no wonder. But this park, I mean, you can see there are like vodka bottles and stuff like this here, and and they do um, sometimes congregate here because it's not a three zone and it is a proper park and it's actually really lovely. But um, it needs some TLC and it needs some community ownership of it. Um, I'm glad to come in and put a different energy in here because it's so nice. I've, I mean, I've danced here a few times over the past year. And, and just with these trees that border it, it leaves like a really nice energy actually. So uh, it would be nice if, if other sorts of things could happen here as well. And if the other park spaces could be developed more as we parks actually. <laughs> really nice as opposed to passing through spaces. Um, but you do have the lovely daffodils and everything. But today was another quiet dance for me. I'm not feeling 100%. Um, I had a bit of an upset tummy the past couple of days, um, which leads me to what my dance was today because I got thinking about this because I mean, I just have a little bit of an upset tummy and, and how much that hinders my existence and the fact that I don't want any food. <laughs> I know. It's like normally one of my favorite things. And now it's like I have no appetite whatsoever, which is just wrong. <laughs> and um, and I and I got thinking about the fact that the biggest killer in the world is actually diarrhea uh, from unclean water. And and you know how stupid that is, <laughs> really. I mean that's just stupid. That is just the the um, Water Aid is a wonderful charity. They do great stuff in the world. But the, the ease and the facility and the technology we have to provide clean drinking water to people is there and is not expensive. Um, and it kills something like a, a person every four seconds or something, unclean water, um, dies from every four seconds. Some crazy statistic like that, even if it was like once every minute or once every four minutes, that's, that's too much. It's far too much. You know, one a day is too much. And you think how much resource we throw into other things that, you know, um, kill one person every six years, which is still too much. But um, the technology is there. And you think how many geniuses are being lost to this very curable killer. So I, I was dancing for some, I was dancing for that. And I was putting energy towards that in a positive way. I was. I was thinking about clarity and clean water and um, and generosity because Forbes just listed the top ten richest people in the world yesterday, and there are some you know there are more billionaires now than there've ever been in the past. At the same time, you know, like I've even noticed in Glasgow, more homeless people. I never saw as many when I first moved here ten years, eleven years ago you'd see big issue sellers who were generally young men who obviously were coming off of some sort of substance abuse problem, which is a very complex thing. And you got the sense of, okay, well, this is, this is what is happening for them. In the States, homelessness is so common, you just blank it out entirely, um, which again is, yeah, it is a crime. It really is a crime of humanity. Um, and, and you're just thinking, how many billions 
do you need and why at what stage you know and, and but the thing is you know it's like I said before I think it's you can blanket it's like I looked at I was thinking about like when I was working with the kids in Sri Lanka and and, and got to know them individually and I got to know their individual spirits and it you see it's the human humanizing of it it's the personalization of it and lots of times people who are in a position to help are, are so far removed from what that world is on the street but we do we demonize that or we blanket it with one big thing when um, what what really needs to happen is is the knowing and, and how how is it we go about that statistically poor people are the most generous <laughs> Isn't that amazing? There was a really interesting article on that. Um, it, you know, in terms of the amount of, of resource that people who are on lower economic brackets give to less, even less fortunate, is exponentially higher than people who are exceptionally wealthy or even a little bit wealthy. I find that really interesting as well. I've witnessed that a lot in my life, actually, and I find that very humbling. So, so yeah, so I was, I was dancing for clean water today. Water is not something we have a lack of here in Scotland. It's, you know, I, yeah, um, it's my watery nose, um, <laughs> just to prove the point. We, uh, you know, as I was walking here, I was avoiding the uh, great big puddles that have not yet gone away from the storms yesterday. And, um, but it's, it's, it's quite a big issue in our world. So yeah, that was my answer today. So I'm gonna continue on. Don't know where I'll be tomorrow. As I said, it's really early for me to go down to Broomall because I'm not, I would go down there. Actually, the, the earliness probably isn't a factor. So I'm not really feeling 100% that um, for me to get down there and to get back is uh, probably not the smartest thing. So um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, if you have any wishes you want me to dance for, please uh, let me know. And, 